Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to give you some uh, update of what happened. I did do a video on the day after Thanksgiving, and I didn't load it because I felt like I was supposed to wait. And I don't really... Part of it was because I had such a strong experience about feeling like the Lord was coming on the time of the anniversary of Noah's flood, which is coming up, <clears throat> that I, you know, I couldn't help but think, okay, is this, it, uh, is this incredible feeling I have because it's really true <clears throat> or am I off, you know, and I'm just tuning in to the fact that he's coming. But the, the morning after I had prayed really powerful prayers <clears throat> or the anointing of God just fell on me the day before I woke up and I was like immediately just praying and dancing around the room in this incredible excitement, feeling that the Lord was going to come on the anniversary of Noah's flood, <clears throat> which is December 12th. But they got on the ark, which would be December 5th, which could be when he comes to um, not just, you know, he could come, when they get in the ark, usually people think it's when the flood hits, but <clears throat> you know, so what I decided to do is I kept the video cause the anointing was on me when I did the video and you can't repeat that, <clears throat> but I wanted to edit it since it was, it's kind of, some of it is several days old now. But the main point, I wanted to just give you a clip of that. And I've pretty much explained the rest right here of how this happened. Um, it was definitely a prayer and fasting mode I was in. <clears throat> and so the, the anointing was just extraordinarily powerful. And so I want to give you a clip of this. And... From there, I will take it from there. And is, I, I went out in the parking lot. It's like this, surrounded by, you know, the mountains and the freeway. And it's very beautiful. And the power of God just came over me. It was like, I just kept praying and praying in the spirit. And uh, I could feel like something incredible was happening. That's what it felt like. And... I can't even express it. It was like, it was as if I was, had, had, it was like I had been translated already, you know? It's like I was already up in the clouds or something. I mean, it was incredible. And so the reason I'm telling you this is because the next day, meaning today, I felt like I, I was thinking about how, um, you know, here we are, right? It's the 25th now. And by the way, the new moon, some of you asked why I did that video about the moon. Because when you're watching for the Lord, you're calculating like Daniel's 70th week, or you're trying to figure out when the year starts or the month starts, you have to wait until they sight the new moon in Israel. Okay. That's why it's important because it can change everything and a year won't even start until they sight the new moon so um with that said today this morning and i feel like there's an overflow from the anointing from fasting and praying and this morning I was thinking about just here we are like what what are we looking at right now right and I've always felt like based on the problems with the calendars it's, it can be very challenging to, you know, determine when the year starts. And, you know, if 
people disagree on it all the time. So it's not like God spells it out really clearly in the Bible when the year starts. Is it the equinox? Is it the uh, sun and Aries? Is You could think of when Jesus would come back for the rapture would be the one thing he pointed to when his disciples asked him, when, when's the end of the age? When are all these things going to take place? In Matthew 24, he refers to the days of Noah. To me, that's always been a big clue. And then on top of that, you have what happened. The flood. Total destruction. Everything changed overnight, which is what it will be like the minute the rapture happens and the tribulation starts. Okay, now, if so if this is the case, then we have that coming up in a couple weeks, the flood, okay? And so, you know, whether the rapture happens the day that <clears throat> Daniel's 70th week starts, if anything, all the timing seems to be very amazing because because the flood is about to start and the tribulation the 70th week of daniel could have started today if not next month all the stuff is happening at the same time and so what happened this morning, and I believe, and the reason I'm telling you about the praying uh, yesterday was not, oh, you know, I prayed and all this. It, it was because I think because of that, this anointing overflowed this morning. And <clears throat> when I was thinking about the days of Noah and looking at the when the flood would hit and how soon it is, I just had this feeling like, I can't explain it. I just felt like, like he was coming back then. And I started dancing and singing around the room like a crazy person who couldn't stop. The anointing was on me so strong, I couldn't stop. And I kept singing this song, you know, about him coming back and dancing like, like a, like a fool for Christ, okay? Um, and it was like the power of God hit me and I couldn't stop. And it was like, I felt so happy. Like I knew he was coming. Like, like I knew it, like I could feel it. It was like, there was no more doubt, no more, what if, you know, no more of that stuff. And so, <clears throat> then on top of that, a sister had alerted me to a video that brother Wayne from We Overcomers had made. And in it, he talks about the rapture connected to the, these days of Noah and the flood coming up. And and so I watch it and I, and I had just been dancing this crazy dance, this powerful anointing, thinking about him coming when the flood starts or seven days before it starts. Um, like, because God closed the door of the ark seven days before the flood hit. So here's the tour calendar. This is the ninth, but... If the ninth is really the eighth, then we're in the second month, the month of Noah's flood. So it'd be second month and the 17th day right here, December 12th. And then a week earlier when they get on the ark is December 5th. So that is a very, very high watch day. Matthew 24, 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 
For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two shall be in the field. One shall be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken, the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up.